going on? Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're discovering this, my name is Christian, also known as the Crazy Plant Guy. I mostly do plant videos on this channel, and if you have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that button. Also follow me on Instagram, Crazy Plant Guy. That's where you'll find me pretty much living my everyday urban jungle life. So. In this video, we're going to repot the Pelia peperomiotis as well as propagate some of his babies. If you guys recall, I just did do a uh, video on how to care for this guy. And if you're looking for those general care tips, be sure to check that video out. I'll provide a link in the description below as well as uh, check out the card in the corner right here. So normally when you want to repot this guy, you always do it during uh, the beginning of the growing season, which is around spring. Or in this case, when he is completely root bound or uh, pretty much just getting out of hand, right? And I can tell because lately I've noticed that I had to water him a lot more. So that just tells me his babies are taking up a lot of energy and um, there's not probably enough soil, soil for all of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to move him up from this six inch pot that you see here to an eight inch pot. So when you do repot uh, any of your plants, you, make, you wanna make sure you don't go too big. And I always go about two inches up a size. And at the same time, you also wanna consider and make sure that where you are going to plant him is a very similar environment to what he has right now. So that means making sure that the soil I use is similar to the soil mix he has, which is 50% cacti soil, 45% premium potting mix and 5% uh, perlite and a bit of orchid bark to help with drainage. As you guys know, uh, you want to make sure your soil is uh, has a lot of aer aeration and uh, is well draining so that way you don't risk the plant sitting in water and potentially having root rot which is the number one plant killer. So we're going to get started here and then I also have my propagation station so that way when I do remove the babies, um, you know, I can put them in water and uh, you know, wait a couple of weeks for the weeds to grow before putting them into soil. So let's get started here. Um, so typically what I want to do with this guy is obviously be very careful and gentle. His, um, you know, his uh, 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 bottom leaves are a little bit fragile right now and I can tell because they're really droopy. So let's see how I can go about doing this. I'm gonna move this guy for a minute. There. Okay, so normally when you wanna remove this guy out of a pot, I uh, loosen it by squishing the uh, container uh, a bit to make sure that you know I can easily pull him out of here and that we're not gonna cause problems. Um, be very, very gentle, because I really don't have any place to hold, grab this guy. Okay. this guy look at him so I'm actually gonna put him down here so you guys can see so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually going to remove some of his babies and I'm going to see where I'm gonna start here you know what yeah I'm gonna start right these two guys right here these two are, prob are probably a lot more mature than the rest, so you guys can see right now how uh, crazy this guy is. Look at all those babies. So what we're going to do is uh, try and remove the soil as close to the bottom so you can see where he actually starts. And then from there, that's where you want to clip him. So, so once I remove some of his babies, uh, I'm going to cut him right here. I'm then going to remove the old soil, uh, gently remove it. And All right guys, so I am done removing uh, a bit of the soil from the top and I'm going to make my cut uh, on this baby Pelia. So typically you want to leave, uh, maybe give it about an inch uh, from his last or bottom leaf and that's where you'll make a cut. So you want to make a cut right here. So I'm going to take my sharp scissors and uh, snip him right there. See, so look at this guy. This guy's perfect. I just need to balance him out. And uh, yeah, so what I want to do is obviously then put him in water. And uh, yeah, let him sit there for a few weeks. I'm gonna do one more right of this guy right here. See this guy right here? Yeah. So, let me make a cut again. I want to make sure I 
give him a bit of stem too. Or also to there. Oh no. So, see? One more there. I don't think I gave him enough room, but we'll see. Hopefully that's good. Okay, and then I want to do one more. This guy's really mature as well. Let's do this guy. So, okay. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this guy right here. This guy right here, he looks good. You know, I really did not want to do this because I really want to uh, uh, see how he looks uh, uh, with his baby, similar to my spider plant, but you know, in this case, you want to make sure your plants are going to be healthy and thriving. So again, I got one more here. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to just force him to do, you know, whatever if he's not liking it. And uh, I think this guy will be a little bit, definitely a lot happier. So. I'm done cutting a couple of the babies. I cut three of them. Uh, you know, they're going to propagate here in water. Uh, so what I'm gonna do with this neck guy now is I'm actually just going to try and loosen the rest of his soil. Um, you know, by just, you know, gently uh, removing it with your fingers or you can get like a toothpick and, uh, you know, poke him around. Make sure you're not damaging the roots as well. So let me do that and yeah. Alright guys, so I'm going to keep uh, a bit of soil here to keep his root ball and the rest of his babies intact and then I'm going to uh, put him in his new container. Uh, I already have soil in here a bit, so I'm going to just gently place this guy. Mm, yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. I'm actually going to... Yeah, you know what, I need to put a bit more soil so that way you want to make sure this guy has room to grow down as well. So, let's see how this will work. Yeah, I think this is perfect. So once I have him in my container pot, I'm obviously going to fill him up with uh, the rest of the soil mix that I have here. And uh, I'm actually going to lean him a bit this way because he's already got a lean. And then I'm gonna face him this way to try and straighten this guy out uh, when I place him back into his location. So, sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually use some of his old soil and to put into this new soil. Again, you just wanna make sure he's got a similar environment to where he was. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of shocked this guy by removing, you know, a couple of his babies as well. Ta-da! There you guys have it. He is now in his new home. And uh, the one thing to keep in mind when you are adding soil is to make sure you're not packing it down tightly and you want to keep the soil nice and loose so when you do water him, uh, it drains through quite well. Uh, speaking of watering, uh, after you know obviously transplanting him into his new soil, you want to obviously water this guy so that way the roots can merge with the soil and uh, then obviously put him back to his uh, previous location where he was. You don't want to move this guy to a, a, another uh, environment or another location because again you shock the plant by obviously you know repotting him and then removing his baby so what typically may happen is uh, the bottom leaves may fall off uh, and that's pretty normal as long as your new leaves and the new uh, babies aren't falling off then your plant should be uh, good so yeah, that is pretty much it. Pretty easy to do. And uh, with these you guys, we're gonna make a couple more of them. Uh, obviously in a few weeks, uh, they will grow roots and then I will uh, repot them in their own soil. So yeah, that is it. Uh, if you guys do have any other questions about the Pelia peperomiotis uh, and whatnot, uh, feel free to comment below uh, and ask away and I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. If you do wanna see more uh, propagation videos of any of my plants that you see on Instagram or on YouTube, be sure to comment and let me know and I'll try and get to them as well. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy your Sunday and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.